What's up, everybody? It's your boy Tech JRD back again with another video. And today, I want to tell you why the LG V20 is still a beast of a smartphone in 2018, going into 2019. Now, when this phone came out, it didn't get a lot of it didn't get a lot of popularity, um, and I think it's the same as as it is today. LG got a track record of you know the, the boot loops and everything, so a lot of people are scared to to buy their phones. But this phone is a super good value in 2018 right now and we're at the end of december so or not end but we're in december so um i want to tell you why i think it's worth the money and right now you can find it between 100 150 bucks 200 probably like close to brand new um you can't the, the mid-range phones that are coming out like the lg g6 which is the best mid-range phone of 2016 or 2018 right now um I would consider this phone over that. And here's a couple reasons why. Number one, this phone shipped with Android 6, I believe. Check this out. Yes, we're in 2018 and this phone is on Android 8.0. So that, I mean, I know we're on Pi right now, but like that's reason enough to, to get a $100, $150 was was flagship in you know a couple years ago when it came out i i believe it's worth the money it has the uh, 5.7 inch ips lcd which i am an amoled fan myself but this screen is crispy um you get the second screen at the top which i believe was super innovative back then even for today's standards um where you can switch between you know settings flashlights you know get a you know, just all calendars, clocks, everything where it sits at the top of the screen and you can turn it off if you don't if you don't want that second screen on. But um, that's a really good feature. Another thing about this phone is it has a 16 megapixel main camera. Let me catch that 16 megapixel main camera and an eight megapixel wide angle camera. I don't understand like with the iPhone and like a lot of Android phones, LG is the only one who's getting it right. Like they have a the, the wide angle camera. If you're going to do dual cameras, one of them, at least one of them has to be in wide angle camera. What is the point of making a, a secondary camera just for the telephoto to do portrait mode? Like I don't get why portrait portrait mode is such a, a big deal. Um, so I mean, that's just my thoughts on it. But like I said, um, screen is really nice, 5.7. And it's and it's a 1440 screen. So you get a 2K screen for 100 to $150 in 2018. That's unheard of. Like a lot of phones um, that they're coming out with still are 1080p. And don't get me wrong, there's a lot of good 1080p screen phones. But I mean, as far as like the price jumps we're getting to now, like everything going towards $1,000, I don't believe that these phones you know should be having subpar specs and um and that's even screen quality included for the prices that we're paying um another reason i feel like this phone is still worth it in in 2018 is is the processor yes it's a snapdragon 820 i believe and it only has four gigs of ram but the pixel just came out this year with four gigabytes of ram yeah, LG skin is a little bit heavier, but this phone, this phone runs smooth for the most part. Like I don't, I don't have a lot of loading, very minimal lag, especially since it got updated to Android 8.0. So in 2018, this phone is, is still good. The processor 820, I, I, I think the 820 was a good processor. So it also has the 530 Adreno GPU, which, you know, is not the, you know latest but like i said for the price you're getting a lot and and this phone supports up to 512 gigabytes of sd memory which is which is crazy so the phone comes with 64 gigs and you can still upgrade the memory to 512 an extra 512 um and one of the last things i wanted to say was the, the, the best selling point of this phone, why I believe it honestly was one of the last great Android phones. Yeah, I said it. Is this right here? You can take the battery out and put a new battery in it. So you could your battery can die. Snap snap this six thousand series aluminum cover off. Put you a battery in there and you're good to go. 
I miss that feature so so much. Um, I am a big fan of the the glass backs though, so I, I get why a lot of phones are you know went that route is for the wireless charging and everything like that. But this is still a great design, so I feel like we shouldn't have completely went away from this. So um, that was just a few reasons why I believe that this LG V20 is still a good phone in 2018 going into 2019. Um, yeah, so. Uh, let me know what you think down below. Have a good one.